These records were responsive to Judicial Watch lawsuits. So our lawyers are going to be demanding some answers from the Justice Department and the Secret Service. We had some more craziness this week on Joe Biden's dog. Now, I disclosed last week how um, Joe Biden's dog was, um, or dogs, had bitten upwards of three dozen people, including while Joe Biden was supposedly in control of the dog, a poor Secret Service agent was bitten twice in his arm like this, one, two on his arm. Another guy was bitten on his back. So three dozen attacks by these dogs. And Judicial Watch alone got the records disclosing all of this and the cover-up related to it. And it was a cover-up. But the Daily Mail, uh, the UK publication, also asked for the records. And, I ha and, the, and other media covered our work here. I mean, Fox did a little story. Let's go to the Fox story about summarizes some of the work here from Instagram. That was the Instagram post that we posted. We have new details on Biden's bad dog. The president watched as Commander attacked Secret Service agents. Even Jesse, Judicial Watch giving us an exclusive window into the harrowing circumstances surrounding, you said it, Commander, the president's dog, and his numerous attacks on Secret Service agents, which could, by the way, uh, top three dozen such attacks according to newly released records. What's more, apparently the president himself was present for at least three of those attacks. Now, everybody knows Commander has been known to, you know, bite. But there are a lot of examples you may not know about, including this one. Quote, as I started to walk toward him, him being the president, to see if he needed help, Commander ran through his legs and bit my left arm through the front of my jacket. I pulled my arm away and yelled, no. POTUS yelled. And then blank. Now, the story went on, Jesse, to say that the dog later jumped up and bit him in the left arm again for a second time. His suit coat had not one, not two, but three holes, one all the way through. And that's not it. There are other conversations between Secret Service officials, including this one from September 2023. Heads up and FYI. TMZ just reported a dog bite at the White House. Can we please find a way to get this dog muzzled? And it gets worse. The uh, Daily Mail asked for records because there were evidently some videos of some of this dog, um, so at least one video of the dog attack. And here's the Daily Mail story. Secret Service destroyed a video that captured Joe Biden's dog, Commander, chomping down on one of its agents in an attack that forced the White House to shut down tours so blood could be wiped up off the floor. The video purportedly shows Commander running at a high rate of speed and jumping toward the agent in the East Wing's Kennedy Garden, leaving a deep bite on the individual's left arm that reportedly needing stitches. Again, this is, this is disclosed initially by Judicial Watch. The Secret Service's Freedom of Information Act officer wrote to the Daily Mail in a letter Friday that due to Secret Service retention standards, the above mentioned files have been destroyed. Beating the video. So, they destroyed evidence. I mean, how else are you gonna describe it? And by the way, these records were responsive to Judicial Watch lawsuits. So, our lawyers are gonna be demanding some answers from the Justice Department and the Secret Service I mean, Hillary, you know, they hit the emails, and now Joe's hiding videos of his dog attacking Secret Service. So that's the update on the Joe Biden dog scandal that the media pretends isn't a scandal. It's a major scandal. President of the United States and his wife allowed their family dogs to attack federal law enforcement, Secret Service, and White House staff with impunity. Talk about being above the law. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.